So when filmmakers sit down to negotiate uh, a distribution deal for their movie, um, what happens? Who initiates it? Who speaks first? Uh, what points are typically brought up? Um, it happens in a lot of different ways. You know, let's take a, a typical example. We just got back from Sundance. So we'll take a Sundance film that is lucky enough to get distribution. While they're there, there's interest from buyers. Typically what happens is there's a sales agent involved. And that sales agent will take the lead on the negotiations. And when we get involved is sort of at that same time, but in a little bit of a different role. So simply put, the sales agent will negotiate the material deal points. What rights am I getting? How much money are they going to pay me? How long is the term going to be? Um, and we will come in and make sure that, especially when we've been on since the beginning and we really understand the project, just to make sure that there's no rights that are being granted that conflict with something that the filmmaker has expressed to us before. You know, sometimes we're working on a music doc and they want to retain the soundtrack rights, but the sales agent doesn't know that, and the sales agent gives away the soundtrack rights. And then it becomes a big issue later on, so it's good for us to be involved at that early stage so that we can make sure that the deal is, is appropriate for the client and makes sense. And then we also come in, again, when there's a longer form agreement to negotiate. We really start delving into the into issues like delivery. What do they need to deliver? You know, that delivery that a delivery list that's attached to a distribution agreement can be quite onerous and quite expensive. And if the filmmaker isn't careful to go through that and understand exactly what they need to deliver, it could cost them tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars to deliver a film, and maybe they're only getting an advance of fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So that's an important thing that we make sure that the filmmaker understands everything they have to deliver and going through that with them and then, again, all of the terms in the contract. What would some of those items be that they would need to deliver on? Um, well, most of them, which are above my head, but technical items that they have to deliver. Do they need to deliver a 35 millimeter print? Do they have to, what kind of digital format do they need? How, much, how many publicity stills do they need to deliver? Um, do they need to deliver artwork? Do they need to make their own trailer? You know, there's all of those issues that sometimes a producer just assumes the studio is going to do that and sometimes they're not going to, so it really depends. In other circumstances, they may want to. The studio may say, we're doing this trailer, we're not trusting you to do the trailer, we're the marketing experts. Um, but other times, they want that stuff to be delivered. What are some of the typical terms in a distribution uh, agreement, whether it's theatrical or VOD? Um, so that depends, you know, I guess, well, I, I guess it doesn't really depend. In all distribution agreements, you're gonna have the term, so how long are you giving them the rights for? And Really, you know, we look at that, it, it's very dependent on money. You know, if you're paying a lot of money for this acquisition, if you're paying $7 million for a film, the acquirer is going to get probably all the rights, and they're probably going to get it in perpetuity. If somebody's giving no advance, we might say, okay, we'll give you broadcast rights. Let's say you're CNN, and you're giving a $50,000 advance. Um, and this is totally just an example, not <laughs> true. Um, we're going to say, okay, CNN, you can have the broadcast rights, but I'm retaining everything else. I want the rights to go someplace else to distribute this digitally. I want the ability to monetize this elsewhere because you're not giving me enough money to recoup my expenses, pay back my investors, et cetera. 